So, hey, uh, what an awesome freshman season you had. Freshman All-American, all those different things. How much confidence does that give you heading into your sophomore year? Um, it gives me a lot of con confidence, but at the same time, you know, the job is never done. Um, I'm still pushing. I'm still fighting because I'm never uh, satisfied where I'm at at all. Um, every single day is something new to learn, something new with the playbook, something new with the coaches that I got to keep pushing. And, you know, you know, as, well, as far as my teammates and them helping me, uh, you know, just coming out stronger. It gives me a lot of confidence, but at the same time, the job is still never done. Was there a moment last season, I imagine those first couple of games, you know, your eyes were probably really big. You're playing, you know, Division One college football, but where you were – got that sense that I belong and I am this good that I can take over these sorts of games just as a freshman. Um, really, after, like, the first – I was just amazed. I was just like, oh, I'm really here. I'm finally here. I'm like, oh, my goodness, what's about to happen? All this thoughts going through my head. But I know that my coaches, you know, last year – they gave me all the tools I need to come out there with confidence. Uh, after the first play, after I got hit, I'm like, okay. It feel like it feel like it feel like uh, high school football to me, you know, just starting back over as a freshman, you know, never really, really, like let it, you know, um, push me back or anything. Just kept pushing forward, having fun, you know, because I truly love the game. So, uh, loving the game is kind of like what kept me and kept me drive, kept me driving my uh, my body to keep pushing forward. So obviously a really different unconventional off season for you, but what steps forward in your game do you think you have made between the end of your freshman season and today now that you're in fall camp? Um, I'll say the steps that I made is uh, uh, work um, looking at last year's film and uh, the stuff that slacked in a lot was uh, I felt as in, you know, me as past game and I, uh, I had a big step forward in that. And it kind of just really helped me out a lot, you know, uh, with the coaching staff this year, um, understanding the keys and and uh, it's, it's the next step. And that the best thing in the in the football game as a running back is to uh, be the best blocker you can be, and that's also execute every single play. Thank you, sincere. Great seeing you again. Nice seeing you too. Greg, you're up. Sincere, how have you and your teammates adjusted to the the new offense Coach Lunny has been installing through these couple of weeks here? Uh, we're everybody adjusted very fast, very quickly. Um, you know, uh, trying to get rid of the old system and adjusting to the new system. It's kind of like you know, we just keep throwing mud on the wall, like Coach keeps saying all the time. So we just keep going, keep going, making mistakes. We just correct it right then and there. Um, he takes our time. He takes his time with us, and uh, you know, helping us understand the plays and actually, you know, going over every step, uh, every uh, every keys to the offense and. Uh, all my teammates adjusted perfectly fine pretty fast. What are the biggest differences compared to what you were used to previously? Uh, I can say there's not much of a difference. Uh, you know how football goes. Football is the same all year round. It's, it's, it's football. I mean, the same thing, just different terminology and everything. So I, it really wasn't much of a difference for me. What do you think might be the strengths of your offensive unit this year? Have you started to identify that? Uh, a little bit of everything, a little sprinkle here with the, you know, passing, a little sprinkle here with the running. Uh, I'd say everywhere. Um, there's no specific strength. It comes from everywhere. And for you, what's it been like practicing with all the different, the rules, precautions, and protocols in place related to the pandemic? Um, since the whole pandemic, and you know, I wasn't really used to it. You know, I'm like, you know, sometimes you forget, I forget my mask, and, you know, you're like, dang, you know, all the stuff that's going around, but um, I felt like our, our coaching staff, our, um, our uh, I can't think of the name, but every, everyone took the, took the steps, the right steps to, you know, make sure we're safe and healthy and uh, out there on the field, six feet apart, you know, keeping our distance, keeping our mask on and uh, just doing what we have to do. Have you changed your routine away from practice and away from team activities at all to try to keep that bubble or to stay safe? Uh, yes. Uh, I just staying away from everybody, um, not being around too many people, just staying in the house, you know, um, kind of just pretty much not trying to be out as much and stick to football and stick to the stuff that I know. We have our own little personal bubble and uh, the bubble that we go by to stay in the house because that's the best, best thing we could do right now. Do you feel safe personally going through with practices and potentially the full season ahead? Yeah, I, I feel perfectly fine. I feel perfectly safe. Um, like I said, they take every all the precaution that's needed. Um, 
the training staff, every, everyone there, I feel perfectly fine. Because there's, there's a lot of players around the country who have considered opting out or have taken that step, but it sounds like for you and your teammates that conversation hasn't come up much. Have you guys talked about that or considered that possibility at any point? No, we, we haven't. Um, like we worry about what we worry about what we have to do. We're we're in the mindset that we're having a season, that we're having a game. We can't control everything in this world, so we're just gonna have to do do everything in in our power and our uh our and, and UTSA to do what we have to do to prepare for a season. Like like nothing happened. Thanks, JJ. Hey, sincere. Thanks for uh, joining us today. What's it uh, What's it like in that running back room? You guys got a group of guys that are pretty talented. What What, what What's it like going 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 through preparations and practicing with that group of players? Um, we have a our, our running back room is amazing. It's like no other. It's pretty sure it's pretty different than a lot of others. Like we have a lot of guys that have different personality, but you know we're one running back unit. We have one goal in mind, and that's to win football games. So it's, we're we're helping the ones that came up, like the freshmen that just came in, the incoming freshmen. Uh, we're helping them, uh, you know, the stuff that we went through, the steps, the the, the what you got to identify on the field, what you what you're supposed to do, what time you got to be here, and and uh, it's pretty much as a running back group, we're we're together and, and everything. Because like I said, we have one goal, and that's to win. Do you, Do you have any goals set for yourself for this coming season? <laughs> to finally break officially a thousand yards you know, or more than that, you know. Um uh but my ultimate goal is to win a bowl game with my team. That that that's my goal and I'm pretty sure that's everybody else's goal. But I, I already you know what I'm saying I just do what I have to do. Um, you know, if I need to get yards, I get yards, but I really just play the game because I love it. It's not more of stats and stuff for me. I just play it because I love it. I'm just out there with my brothers every single day. 